Hi guys, in this video we're going to show you where the dip switches are in your ceiling fan. If your ceiling fan is old school and has dip switches in the ceiling fan itself, then we'll show you where you will be able to locate those dip switches for your hub rear ceiling fan. So to do that, and look at a video, a short video here, this guy uh, explains it quite well, and he shows you the receiver unit because your dip switch is more than likely going to be in, in the receiver unit of the ceiling fan. So let's take a look at this. And the receiver unit. That's the antenna of the receiver unit. And they're the male and female plugs used for connecting it. Here you can see the dip switches. They're located on the side of the receiver and there are four of them, numbered one to four. On the remote control unit, when you open up the back of the remote, you'll see there are four dip switches there as well, and they're numbered one through to four. The most important thing is that whatever the remote is set at, the receiver needs to be set at. So all four on, all four off. So you notice there the receiver unit. Now the, the receiver unit there was out of the ceiling fan, but your receiver unit will be usually in the housing, the ceiling fan housing you, near the ceiling. You have to unscrew it and then remove that to access the receiver unit. And on the receiver unit there should be dip switches. Those dip switches, it's important that whatever settings are on those dip switches, the remote um, has the same settings on its dip, dip switches. So the remote dip switches can be found on the uh, back of the remote under the back cover. So you take the back cover off, usually they are somewhere near the battery. And um, whatever the settings are on there, they should be the same as on your fan, so they're both synced together. So here you can see what the uh, ceiling fan housing unit looks like. You have something similar to this, it's near the ceiling part, or if you've got a down rod, it might be at the uh, bottom, near the bottom of the down rod before you get to the mo motor um, and the fan blades. Uh, if you don't have a down rod, then it will be closer to the ceiling. So you can see you've got to unscrew those screws there. And the receiver unit should be located in there, somewhere in there. If it, if it has a receiver unit, that's where it will be located. So after dismantling that, you can see he's tapping now. That's where the receiver unit, that's the receiver unit there. That's what you replace. Yours might look a bit different, depending on what model you have, or if it, if it has a receiver unit, if it's remote controlled, it will have a receiver unit, and that's what you replace. And if your receiver unit is old school and it has dip switch settings, then you'll, you should see some um, dip switch settings somewhere located on there. Those settings again are what you set to the, to the remote. They need to be uh, set in the same way, whatever dip switch settings are on the receiver, exactly the same that's on the remote. The later ones though, the other uh, Harbour Breeze ceiling fans, the receiver units actually have a learn button, as we mentioned earlier, and th those learn buttons don't require dip switches on the receiver unit. Um, the, the fan will sync with the remote, it will create a unique code and will sync with the remote. So that's different. This is a f this is if you Ceiling fan receiver unit does have dip switch settings, which is old school. And here's another shot of the um, housing that's near the ceiling. And if your fan has the housing unit near the ceiling, then you can see there goes the receiver there, that white box there. That's the receiver. That's what may need to be either changed out if, you're, if your remote's not working. Oh, sorry, if your receiver's not working. Or if it has dip switch settings again, that's where you'll find them on that unit, and they need to be set to sync with your remote. Thanks, guys, and please subscribe and like.